Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. Um, I decided to make a video today because I got a lot of questions in the comments about how to actually install Honkai Impact onto your um, Android devices or on Nox. Um, this is basically a guide on how to do it on PC. The first part of it will be the same for if you want to do this on an Android device. I've also heard that if you want to install the game on an iPhone, um, you have to make a fake like iOS account that um, is basically in the region that the game is released in. So this is for this is for Southeast Asia because the game is only available in Southeast Asia. It's not available on Google Play if you're living in in the U.S. or um, anywhere else. So um, if you want to install the game, you there's two ways to do it. The easy, the the hard way or the the basic way is basically you make a Google Play account or you I think it's it might be based on yes yeah, I think it's based on your uh, your uh, Google Play account so basically your Google account has to be um, based on a country in Southeast Asia and then you install it from there you can you can do that or the easy way is to just download the APK file which um, is the it's kind of like the app file, the, the installation file for the app. So all you really need to do is you get the APK file and then just uh, directly install it onto your device. Now there is a problem with Honkai Impact and actually this was why um, there was a lot of uh, a lot of issues. It was mainly because the the game doesn't download as an APK file, it downloads as an X APK file. I think it's something newer, I have no idea what an X APK file is. Um, but it's not compatible with a lot of Android devices. It's also not compatible with um, Nox, so it doesn't it doesn't automatically install. For those of you that don't know what Nox is, Nox is a um, emulator that you you can basically it runs Android apps on your PC. So it opens up a separate window, and you can install Android apps and basically um, have access to it on your PC. So it's it's very very simple. Um, so right, right over here, I actually have two windows. I actually have my um, Honkai Impact window, which is a lot bigger. I decided to make it bigger because it, it is an action game. It looks much better when you record when it's bigger. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of why. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is uh, to to make to basically install the game onto um, onto your Android device instead of directly downloading the APK file, I'm going to use a third-party installer by APK Pure. If you don't know what APK Pure is, is this is basically where I go to get all the APK files of games that um, that are not available in the Google Play Store. So any, any game that you can't get from the Google Play Store, you can pretty much get over here. And uh, not, not just games, but any sort of apps um, you, can, you can get here. And then you can just directly drag it into your Nox player and it will automatically install. So um, what you can do is you can actually download the APK Pure app and it comes as an actual APK file. And um, it's literally right here. So all you have to do is you drag it into your Nox. Um, if you're on Android, all you really need to do is uh, it's going to start installing. It'll be very, very fast. If you're on Android, all you need to do is you go on this page with your browser and just download it, and then just directly install it on your Android device, and then you can you can go into um, the APK Pure app. So once I'm on here, it'll look the same on your Android device, it, whether you're on a tablet or on a phone, it'll be the exact same from here on. Basically, um, it'll tell you to update. You just do it. Just just say yes to everything, because if you say no, it's just gonna cancel the installation. You have no choice. Uh, you can you can just skip this, and then you can search up whatever app you want to install. So like, and the the app we want to install is right here. So you just install it, and then once it's done, the same thing will pop up, ask you if you want to really install it. This will probably take a while, so I don't think I can show the whole thing. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You'll have you'll be able to play the game on your um, on your Nox or your Android device. If you're on Android, the the guide kind of ends here. Like if you don't want to continue on. Um, however, if you're if you are on Nox, because the game um, is an action based game, it's very very hard to control control the gameplay. Like you can't you can't. Uh, it's very very difficult to uh, to 
play with just your mouse because you're, you have to be moving and you have to be doing um, attacks and stuff at the same time. There's two ways you can play on PC. One is you can use a, use a WASD, like um, you can bind Nox shortcut keys to, to WASD on your um, on this this uh, direction controller. So basically you can you can install a new direction controller and then you make it WASD. I'm not gonna save this by the way uh, because my my shortcut keys are already bound. Um, and then these are actually bound to um, I, I don't use WASD, I actually use I think it's like I K J and L on the other side and then Q W E R for the uh, for the like for my attacks and dodge and all that stuff. So I'm actually not gonna say this. Um, but yeah if you if you put put a keypad there um, and you all you really need to do the the way I do it is I, I go into a random stage and because um, it doesn't cost any energy if you if you lose in a or if you lose or if you quit a stage uh, you can literally just go into any random stage and just sit there and, and do your key bindings there. Because this way you can actually see which where all your um, all your keys are. And then you can see exactly where the directional thing is. Um, now because this is a little bit bigger, my, my screen is like really, really big. It kind of blocks everything. Um, basically, you, you just bind your shortcut keys or your, your directional movement keys here. And then you can bind these to like QWER or whatever you want. Um, you can up, bind this up, down, left, right as well. And then you make sure you bind these as well to, to do the switch. Um, one other thing that I really like to bind is the, the pause button over here. And then also the, um, this is basically a drag movement. So all, all you really need to do is you, you make a drag movement. And then um, you you press a certain key, like say for example, I want to make this zero or something like that. And then once I save it, um, every time I press zero, it's gonna make this mouse mouse movement where I basically drag the screen. And this is basically what I use to turn um, when I'm when I'm playing the game. It's, uh, it's the, this is the way I key bind it. It's quite simple. Um, if your screen's really really big, just hit escape. Escape's the back key. It's a sh shortcut for back key, and it will. Um, it will ask if you want to save your keyboard settings. You, if you set it up, obviously you want to say yes. If you didn't, then you say no. And then afterwards, you can uh, move around with your with with these on on PC. If you want to play on um, play on PC, and then every every time that and then this I'm um, I find it the the turn keys to Q and O. So if I want to turn, I can just press Q and O, and I can turn the camera, and it's making the drag movements on the top of my screen. Um, the way I actually play is I don't actually use my keyboard. I actually use the use a use a Xbox controller that I um, that I plugged into my PC, and this is basically how I move around. Um, this is not really a guide on how to use a controller because probably most people don't have a controller. Um, but if you do, it's it's also very very simple. I use a program called Joy to Key. It basically, um, whenever you make a movement on the controller, it like it automatically detects it, and then you can go in and you can bind whatever key um, the movement is. So basically, I, I bind my left um, my left direction to J on the keyboard. So basically, if I wanna, if I decide to play with the controller, I can just I just I can just start up the program and then um, and then start moving like this, and you know I can I can start playing. Um, or if I decide to play on my keyboard, I can I can also do that as well. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's all, that's all you really need to do to to set this up on your PC. Um, the other way that you can also play is you can you can actually play with moving but with your mouse. All you really need to do is you turn your mouse movement really really slow. Um, if you have a mouse that like if you have like a gaming mouse um, or something that can change the DPI settings, easy way is to turn it down really really low and um, just make it like extremely slow. So when you make big mouse movements, your mouse only moves a, a tiny bit. Um, the reason for this is because it it's very very easy for your mouse to like make if if you're making like large movements, um, then it's very very hard to control the direction of your your um, your movement. 
but you can actually just basically just you know if you have like a very slow mouse you just you just drag it and then turn the DPI setting really really low then you can use this to turn and then um, you basically you, you can still play the game with uh, your like this with your keyboard you can still make the attacks with your keyboard if you're playing on PC this is actually probably the the best way to play it like honestly it's it's not the most comfortable way but if you want to like because in the in the future there's probably uh, there's like PvP and competitive stuff but if uh, if you're like actually really really serious this is probably the best way to do it because um, obviously this takes a little bit of getting used to because if you if you're using a gamepad or if you're using WASD for your movement um, you can only move in eight directions up down left right and then diagonally um, but if you're moving with your mouse, you can move in a 360 degree direction. So you can basically move any any way that you want, as long as you you buy like sh shortcut keys and stuff. So basically, if you want to make like really fast movements, or if you want to, um, you know, if you if you just want to turn really quickly and really precisely, you, all you really need to do is turn your mouse speed like a lot slower, and then basically play with um, moving around using your mouse. But it's definitely not the most comfortable way to play because you have to be, uh... There's probably a way to bind your mouse to, like, over here. I'll, I'll figure out a way if you if I want to be, like, extremely competitive. But for now, uh, using WSD to move and then... Or using your, your gamepad to move is actually the most comfortable for me. <laughs> because it is, a uh, it is, like, a, an action game. Like, I, I feel like controllers are just so much, so much easier to use if you're play, actually playing an action game. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all all there is to it. Um, hopefully this this helped you guys out on setting up your, your game if you want to play with me. Um, I play this game a lot during my free time now, just, just for fun. Um, the game's not out on, on the NA server yet, but once it does come out, I'll probably be playing for the long term. For now, I'm just basically experiencing the game and, and trying it out for fun. Um, but anyways, if you want to play with me or experience it with me, then you can download the APK file or not the APK file. You can download APK Pure and then install it um, onto your device. I think the first one is already ready. So after you uh, install it, like since this is finished loading, um, once it's done, you just click install and then it'll install the game for you. And then you can go and you can launch it and it'll be it'll be ready to play. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.